Hi guys, my name is Roger Williams. I've owned a ninja shop here in St. Point, Indiana for the last 25 years. And uh, we build all kinds of uh, engines for hot rods and race cars, all shapes and sizes. The good folks at E3 has asked me to answer some of your questions that you write in on the Ask Roger uh, tab on their uh, website. And um, this month, a gentleman by the name of uh, Joel Rainey writes in and asks me if uh, what the difference is between a rotary engine and a conventional engine, standard four cycle engine. I'm going to start by uh, explaining a little of history of the rotary engine and then we'll go from there. The rotary engine was first invented by a German man by the name of Felix Wankel in collaboration with the NSU Motorcycle Company in 1957. It had taken 39 years for the Wankel's dream to become a running engine. In 1959, NSU officially announced the completion of the first rotary engine. In 1961, the Japanese Mazda company signed a contract with the NSU and began studies and advanced development of the rotary engine. Although there were many problems to be worked out, the design was solid. It wasn't until 1967 before Mazda started production and selling its first sports cars using the rotary engine. The engine has been developed using two, three, and four rotor designs over the, over the last uh, many years with many developments to increase durability. In 1991, Mazda even won the 24 hours of Daytona using rotary engine. What makes the NSU Wankel engine, which Mazda adopted, work is a rice ball shaped triangular rotor housing. Because of this design, three separate chambers are created between the rotor and the inner wall of the rotor housing. These chambers smoothly expand and contract in constant cycle as the rotor spins. The major difference between a rotary engine and the um, conventional four cycle engine, Joel, is that the conventional four cycle engine obviously uses a piston with a connecting rod connected to a crankshaft to generate its um, rotary or uh, cir uh, circular motion. The uh, rotary engine is always turning in one direction. Um, although it does have combustion chambers and spark plugs, there is no pistons inside a uh, rotary engine. Hopefully the little videos I've got attached will help explain that um, uh, with a visual. Well, Joel, I hope that helps answer some of your questions for you and uh, sheds a little light on the subject of the difference between a rotary engine and a conventional engine. And for the rest of you guys, go to the E3 social media page and uh, at the top you'll see a tab that says Ask Roger. Click on that and submit your engine questions to me. Any good engine question, I'll be glad to I'll do my best to pick through them. And if I make a video of it, uh, you'll uh, receive yourself a free set of spark plugs. Um, meanwhile, get to work on your hot rods, and uh, maybe I'll see you at the races. Talk to you later, guys. See you.